Well, usually I only do two, um, um, two, two of these commentaries a week. You know, sometimes I put other uh, interviews and stuff up. But this is uh, Easter Sunday, and um, I, I went to church. Well, actually, I went to my wife's church, okay? I don't go to church, right? But twice a year, I just promise my wife, sometimes you got to compromise in your, in, your, in your thing, you know, that, okay, I'll go on Christmas, you know, you know, when, you know, conception, birth, or whatever, make sure the boy was conceived, you know, celebrate, I don't celebrate, whatever, you know, and I go to Easter, you know, you know, because everybody, you know, when he's supposed to, the boy's supposed to have been resurrected, and, you know, you're waiting for him to come back, you know. I said, okay, fine, I'll placate her. But, um, when I say go, when I say went to, went to her church, right? I'm not a member of any church. I don't go to churches. Uh, when I was, uh, when they read me, uh, when I, several times when they read me uh, in the Europe religion, you know, when you throw the cowrie shells, you know, uh, basically, even when they want me in that religion, they say, now nah, leave Anthony, just leave him alone, okay? He's, he's cool, right? And I messed up many, many different religions, you know, all over the world, you know, the, the, the Hindus, the, the Mayans, the, the, you know, the, the West African religions, all, all kinds of stuff. You know, went to the Holy City of Tupac, yeah, I like that. So I like when those people, like, I don't I don't go through, like, Jesus or Muhammad or Krishna, whoever, to, you know, to get to God. I go straight to God, you know, but all these other people in the, in the middle, they... That's cool for people that need that, that's fine. I'm one of those people that for, when, when I read the Bible, I, I, let me put it this way. What got me out of the South Bronx was really my ability, my reading comprehension. That's what, I, it's a long story, I'll tell you some other times, well, if I haven't told already. Um, but basically, I can read between the lines. And I read between the lines. Uh, and I listen to, and I study a lot of stuff, right? Now, in fact, if you are going to do religion, even if you have a religion, whatever, please, if you go to school, even if you don't go to school, do a course in comparative religion. Okay, it will change your life. It, it'll, it should fortify your own religion, but it will change your life. Okay, now the Anglicans are, are all right. They, they they switched off from the you know from the Catholics. Now and I was raised Catholic, and I have <laughs> history of the Catholic Church. You know, like ah, man, you know, I was in um, I was in uh, I was in Italy. I was in, I was at the Vatican. You know, I actually prayed in Sistine, Sistine Chapel. Uh, and uh, around about the time that the, that Pope at the time, this was in the, the, uh, the 90s, then the 90s, you know, anyway, he apologized for slavery. And when he did that, I'm going like, yeah, that's cool, but, you know, hey, you got to do a lot more to apologize for slavery because you did a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I was just listening to uh, Yvette Cornell on her channel, and they was talking about, uh, there's this, uh, well, he was talking about when, when the, um, I think it was called, what was the book? Oh, man, let me not mess it up. Uh, but I think it's the, the book was uh, when affirmative action was white. Well, even if, it doesn't matter. Look, here's, here's the history, just a little history. One of the things he's talking about is that, is that when the Irish came to um, came to America, you know, and, and when anybody comes to America, this, they, they, we're talking about you know, the wave of Irish, like right after this, right before the Civil War, like that. And they came in droves, you know, they were specifically told, like for instance, for in a parish in, um, in a, in a church in, in Philadelphia, the priest told them, you know what I mean, you, 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 you should go after jobs, right? And no matter what, you, you, you undercut, as far as pay, the, uh, the newly freed slaves, you know what I mean, to get those jobs. Um, and then when they got those jobs, like in arsenals and stuff like that, um, then they, those people say, like, if you, if you hire any black person, you know, like, we're going to go on strike, you know. So there's a lot of stuff that these, these churches and these, these religious orders that did, you know, that's, that's really, like, detrimental to black people. So I'm not alien. Okay, that's history, okay. Let me just say, but, but, but because my wife dragged me to church, I'm going to say it that way. I hope maybe I shouldn't show her this video, but she sees all of them. So anyway. Since, you know, they go through the litanies or whatever, they're going through the, you know, the, 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 the preachers doing, going through the, you know, the, the different things. I think they, they dwell on Mark and Matthews a lot. I, when I read about it, I sort of like the book, I, I sort of like Luke's, Luke's, you know, take on stuff, but that's neither here nor there. So, like, they, they would do something, I'd be whispering in her ear, like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, you know, she, well, she, she, she learns to ignore me. She just, like, yeah, so I'm whispering in her ear. The one, like, for instance, uh, because it's Easter, they talk about when um, it was Mary Magdalene, uh, Mary, uh, mother said to him, Mary, Mary Magdalene, the mother, Mary, the mother of James and uh, somebody else, Solomon, or whoever it was, you know. Uh, uh, remember, when I say Mary, the, the, the mother of James, it's, it's Jesus' mother, because James is, you know, Jesus' brother and all that sister. Right, it's curious how they say that, you know. And um, somebody, I say, they, they they go to the to, to the to the place where the, the rock was, and they and they go and they see an angel coming and moves the rock, and the angel sitting on 
sitting on a rock, right? So I'm whispering to her, yeah, it was a heavy rock. And the, and the angel, he got tired, so he was there chilling out, you know, when they came. Things like that, like we mess with, mess with. Uh, and, 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 but it's always curious to me, but people don't really understand when they read the Bible. Like, for instance, when Jesus changed, changed the, uh, 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 with the, the water to wine, right? That whole thing. If you look at it, it's a wedding party, right? And all that, all that meant, and this wedding party, they wait for Jesus to show, well, Jesus shows up, and then the party starts to get started because he changed the water to wine. But in, in, in Hebrew culture, in, in Hebrew culture, whatever happened, you know, what happens is, you know, the, the party gets started when the, when the groom comes and brings the wine. That's what's supposed to happen. So, it's, uh, anyway. so, so basically, groom being Jesus. So I read that as Jesus, and the only woman they reported was there was, was actually Mary Magdalene. You know, and so I'm going like, oh, Jesus married, it was Jesus and Mary at Mary Magdalene's uh, wedding party. Boop. And if you look at Mary Mary, she was at the Last Supper, she's going to move at the Last Supper. And, oh, let me give you the, the big one, like, I, I, I love this one. You know, back then, back in those biblical times, uh, the reason why people are, 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 are rubbing people's feet and stuff like that is because you walked all the time. There was no cars, and even cars, whatever. Most of the people walk. And so if you have a walk a lot, you know, somebody comes, and when you go someplace, they, they, they rub your feet, they pretty massage your feet, you know, reviving you and stuff like that. It's also a good, you know, uh, reflexology, whatever happy, but I don't know if they do reflexology back then. Anyway, so that was a form of love, right? So if Mary Magdalene is using her hair to wash Jesus' feet, that's just more than just, you know, comforting. That's like love, you know? So, so it's curious. Like, you would have Mary Magdalene, Mary, um, whoever else was there, but they're all women, you know? It's curious in that only Jesus, like, where's his disciples? They're in the upper room, right? And then, then another part there, they, they talk about, you know, they went and got the, the disciples, right? Well, they were all in the same place. So they all came, oh, the, the stone is moved. I'll, you know, the, the, the cat's gone, you know? Hey, blah, 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 blah. But let me get back to what I was saying. So I say to her, I say, man, you know, I just didn't tell her. I don't know I had it in my head. I, I didn't say this part to her. I say, wow, it's interesting. Uh, you know, the, 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 the wife and the mother-in-law, they, they like hanging out together. They, they, you know, they're the only ones that are concerned about this thing, you know? <laughs> you know I, there was another woman there too. Anyway, it's women, right? It's women's always, you know, taking care of stuff. So for my thing, I, I'm, I'm going to, you know, it's like a service, you know. I, mean, I hate being in this place where, you know, the cast is talking and you can't answer back or you can't make commentary or they, you know, I, I'm just, I'm not into it. So, you know, so I, I, anyway, so I had fun. You know, I had fun whispering to my wife's ear, you know, I was in church, you know, they were, of course they were happy to see me. Oh my goodness. I mean, the congregation, cause you used to go there, they always are trying to, you know, trying to get me, you know, how they, you know how Christians like to recruit and whatever, I mean, and I'm going like, I ain't going to be back with these cats, you know, you know especially African Christianity, they, they, they can't, and plus it's Anglican church, they can't sing, you know what I mean, oh, they you know, ah, you know, give me a, I, I grew up Catholic, but, you know, when I go home to the States, when I go to my, my sister's Catholic church, I go, I go to church sometimes, I like it because it's like a Baptist service, it's in the South, it's in Virginia, you know what I mean, Richmond, Virginia, not Richmond, 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 uh, 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 North, uh, uh, North, Norfolk, Virginia. Anyway, they have like stereophonic choir, you know what I mean? It's like, hey, it's proper, you know? So if I'm going to go to church, I'm going to go for entertainment purposes only. I ain't going for no litany. I know the Bible, you know, I mean, well, I do what I want to know. And so these folks don't want to tell me. Anyway, I just wanted to throw this Easter thing out. Why? Because I actually had fun. Yeah, you know, and plus we were dressed together because she had made this thing and she has a dress that they matched it. So, so we like a cute couple, you know what I mean? And they were so happy to see us. You know, my wife shaved me and all the rest of the stuff. I was like, ah, the things you got to go through, or at least I have to go through, me being T for the pastors, taking trenches to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.